Hey, it's Claude Von Stroke. I'm here in my studio in California, and we are about to go through the creation of my latest remix for Tom Flynn, The Future, featuring Amp Fiddler. I had to make this remix on a really tight turnaround, so I did something different. I took all the original parts, and instead of like recreating the entire song from scratch, which is what I usually do, I just ran a lot of the original parts through my analog hardware to kind of freak out and dra dramatically change the sound, but not have to create all new parts. And then I just rearranged it back together. Let's just jump through some of the stuff that I did to create this remix. If you see this right here, this is the original stems, which is not that many things. There were some more than this, but I got rid of all the extra stuff. So there was probably 20 stems in this track. First things first, just get rid of everything you know you're not gonna use 100%. Okay, on the shakers, here's what I have in my track. As you can hear, it's like really blown out and distorted. The stems, it's really muted and low. And so what I did is I inserted a plugin here, which is the outboard, I mean, it's the outboard representation of the analog heat by Electron here. So what I did is I just ran them through this analog heat right here. And I kind of messed around with the distortions and levels until I got it really, I think this is pretty much where we got it, somewhere around here. We took out all the lows, really jacked up the highs. Got it super crunchy, all the way wet, and that's it. I just ran that through, and then afterwards, when I just did a full pass of that, and then afterwards, I just put an auto filter on that track and kind of just ran it in and out. So that just comes up. You'll hear the filters like raising up here. And these raise ups in the filter, raise ups and clamp downs, sweeps, I guess you could say, are really just creating energy in the track. You'll hear like the energy build as we go through this section. Okay, uh, then another thing I did what, to use the old material but really make it new is I took this kind of super low bass line that you're hearing right now and I chopped it up into a different pattern and then I raised all of the pitch on every single thing. You'll see this down here, it's all cut up into a million pieces. I raised it plus 10 and then now it's like a really rhythmic and it has a completely different vibe. It's almost like a set of toms now and it's in the mid range. So then once I did that, I was like, oh yeah, I like the vibe of that. So then I said, this is now a mid range sound and it's no longer a bass sound. So we're going to go in and we're going to create a sub sound and for that we're just going to use this regular bass master plugin from loop masters which just has like really solid simple bass sounds and you'll I'll add that in here if you're listening to this on your iphone you're probably not hearing the sub that just came in but otherwise you can hear it and it's just basically a mimic of that midline but in a sub and then you can hear the midline with the kick is here, and then when it comes in with the sub, right after the guy just calls shit. Oh shit. That's 
basically recreating what was already there but changing it into something else. So I said I really like these piano sounds that are in the original. There's like regular piano, like jazz piano playing in the original. You can hear. So what I ended up doing for that is I put on a the Mooger Fugger delay over here. And then I literally just mess with the delays. And it created all these like rises. And falls in the track. Like it has all these weird pitch effects. And then because some of those aren't automatically in time with the track, I just recorded like 15 minutes of that stuff and then went back in and placed it in the sections, as you can see here, where it would have impact in the track. So you'll hear like this rise. It'll come back up and that's like right at a transition in the beat. So if you listen to that now with the whole song on, you'll hear that that's like giving it energy right there. And then I have the regular piano just playing with a really long delay over the... Oh, shit. The original track has Amp Fiddler. Just, that's, he just and keeps... In the now. He keeps it's saying that over and over again. I comp this, like... 10 times over and put all kinds of wacky effects on it. And one of the most significant ones was I ran it through our Morphogene here on the modular setup that I have right in the middle of my desk. And on the Morphogene, Stand you sample it in and, and then you can like change the pitch. And see you can I change the timing. It's totally like Stand wacky the now. Stand modular thing. And so I did all these really rando effects. And again, it's all about just playing with it in real time. It's like really fun. You can just sit here for half an hour and do a hundred different versions of fucking with the effects. And then in the end, you just chop together all the best takes. Which is this, what I have here in my vocal chains. I have it in the full vocal chains, just let me go here. Where I've done all kinds of like, I've re-chopped it up. I've done EQing. I've done these like filters and pitch, pitch changes, frequency shifting. Just all kinds of stuff on the vocal. That's a perfect example of like the stuttering and weirdness that you can get out of this. And then I just chop that into where it fit perfectly. So we'll go back and listen to how that fit into the whole song. And then I, it's all mixed in with the weird pianos and the vibes and everything. And another thing that I did to pump up the energy in this track was just took my Prophet synth, just turn on a patch, like, like, like this, and just started opening up the filter. Just like that. It's not exactly the same patch as I had. I mean, I don't memorize any of that stuff. I just recorded it in. But this is what's in the song. And you can hear that's just giving you like a, some energy. So you'll see when that comes in. Really subtle, but you get a whole nother level of energy from it. Like here's a better one. 
just keeps growing and growing and growing. And again, this is just sitting with your stuff, messing around. You can do this in your VSTs too. It doesn't really matter. It's just running through everything and making something. That's pretty much it. I did like a billion other things, but in general, that's the majority of the idea of how I made this track using all the analog crap here. I made this whole remix in two days. Usually it takes me like two weeks, but this one just came together. One other note, you can hear that this is completely imperfect. There's like a click. It's really dirty. It's not perfect. If I was redoing this, I would go in and get rid of that click. But these are the kind of things that just happen. And if you can't hear it in the end, then who really cares? But not everything has to be absolutely immaculate. Unless you are uh, trying to make it like a Katy Perry song or something. A little dirtiness never hurt anyone.